welcome to this quick tutorial where I show you how to run system command from your Go program. Command like ls, pwd, and all like making make dar and all that. We want to be able to run them from our Go program. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is an empty directory. So you see there's nothing in the directory. So I'll just touch main.go. I'll also do go mod in it. Um, just because I want to be able to run it, so I'll say uh, commander just like that. Um, it's saying we should run go tidy, so I'll go ahead and run it. All right, so there's nothing special about it. I'm using go 1.18, and then this is a main package, so package main. Uh, I think it would be good to just make this a little bigger. Fantastic, so go. This is the main function, nothing new here. This is where we are going to run our code. So I'm going to just have like a start command, the prompt. Um, I'll just give it like um, this double arrow as a prompt. Where I'm going to read from, let me read from the uh, os.std in. So we're going to create this um, command shortly, os.std out, where I want to write to. So next step is to create this function. Since we are in the same package, we can leave it all lowercase. So func, um, so I'll name this one prompt, subtype string. Um, this one is in, it's an IO reader, and this will be out io.writer very easy right that means if we like we can implement the reader or the writer interface to redirect the output right the first thing i'm going to do is to grab a scanner from the buff io package new scanner we are going to read from where from in and then we'll go into an infinite loop so we, we should be able to continue typing command and get the output right next thing is to print our prompt which is this all right so let's uh, make sure that we can scan so scanner does scan right if we don't have anything if it is false we're going to just return here right next step is to grab the line and uh, scanner we just grab the test one good thing about Go is you can click on any of these to see the how it's implemented and all that. It's fantastic. This is a real Go code. So yeah. So now we have the line. I would like to exit. Let's say if line, if line is equal to exit, or line is equal to like empty character. I would like to exit. I'll just do x dot exit to them not an error so that we can gracefully exit next is I would like to split the line so to grab the command and split so I split by white space at this point if we have something if it is zero we just exit again because that means nothing was typing I don't actually expect this to happen since we are checking for this, but who knows? All right, next step is the command. So we're going to, if for example, someone type make dar and some, let me say make dar, and let's say folder, this is the command, this is the argument. So we'll say command, um, we just take the parts, the first, the first one maybe we should also just in case of uh, white space let's trim white space trim space right that, that's way the next is the arcs so we just um we take the rest part as a argument right okay so this is the main work we we'll take the runner i'll call it runner um, from voice.exec we call command and then we pass the command that we've extracted at this point then we spread the args 
great ID is helping us to add this. Now, this is the real meat. So, our result <coughs> something is very interesting here. Excuse me. We have error here runner combined outfit. This combined outfit, there's nothing special about it. Um, but basically, they are setting the STD out and STD in and here and combining the attribute using buffer. So this is a this is a very good code. So they are setting this setting this one that they are combining the output here. Of course, if we have an error, I like to do x dot exit one at this time, and uh, you can just print the error. There's actually a way to uh, use. Um, yeah, this is okay. Now we have the result. What nice result? We just write out the result. It's nothing special about that result. And that is it. That should work. So this is our program. It's time to run it and see. So go run main. We should have our prompt. Fantastic. This is the prompt, but it's going on a new line. So let's do a less. Wow, so we see let's exit. So it's going on a new line. So instead of this print line, we just do print. Let's run it again. Fantastic. So LS, we see that these are the two files that we have. Make dar um example. Right, it's created. Make dar um let's pass the flag of p example data. Uh, MySQL or something and let's look at it deep great how about touch um, ag.txt fantastic so this is our program hope you're enjoying this tutorial if you do enjoy this quick tutorial please um, give it a thumbs up and um, it's really sm small but I think it's powerful um, gives it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'm going to make a follow-up video to show how we can monitor like continuous output for example if i do like ping google um, how to extract the output this way in our program